if your child tells you that they're bad at math or they're bad at social studies, things like that, then um, the bottom line for parents is to help your child. I mean, that's the biggest thing. And so when they say I'm bad at math, you say, okay, so why do you feel you're bad at math? Let's look at your, let's look at your work. Let's see what, 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 where, you, where you need help. And then it's up to a parent to help the child. And if they can't help them, you know, then get some help for them. Because we're not good at everything. You know, we're not always going to be excellent at everything. We're not going to get A's and everything. I wasn't that great in math. Um, but if I didn't have parents that were supportive, that helped to lift me up and let me know that, you know, yeah, math is difficult. And algebra can be hard. And geometry is, you know, sometimes, you know, hard to understand. Um, but as long as you sort of work through that with the child and get them some help, if you, the parent, can help them, I think it makes their road a lot easier. And they need to understand that they're not going to be great at everything. But it's the importance of finding that niche. What one thing you are great at. You know, you might not be good at math, but look how great you are in English. You know, so let's get some help in math. Again, always uplifting the child and making it, you know, positive where they feel good about themselves.